This is a Black Rain AR-15. It looks great. We'll talk about all the other stuff here in a second. First, a question. Are you guys even buying AR-15s? Do you have them already? Say in comments what's going on with your own systems. I suspect if you're a TMPer that you've been watching my gun show for the last 10 years or so, you got most of what you need. But if you're a Johnny come lately, are you buying AR-15s? From what we hear at the gun stores, especially gunnies, the answer is a resounding no. The whole gun industry is in a slump. Nothing's moving. And it's kind of scary. I said it years ago. I said, I think there's too many black rifle makers out there. I think they saturated the market stupidly. And I don't think they're going to survive. They're, there's going to be, some have already gone out of business. There's going to be more. Yeah. Right up until the next Democrat is elected, and there's more universal gun registration scare. What do we always say, Tactical Doodle? Buy it while you can. Oh, yeah. Buy it while you can, while it's cheap. Don't wait for the panic. You, you remember when these now. used to go for like 30 yeah. bucks a piece? Dude, when the Magpul prices for P Mag were going up to like 60 a piece, did Dude, that dude, dude. I, I used to, before I did TMP, you guys would go, oh, dude, I found magazines for like 20 <laughs> bucks a piece. They're so good. <laughs> Oh, I just went there. They're sold out like that. Yeah. And anyone who's been around in the in the gun world for any number of years knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, well. Buy I, it now. Why, why it's yeah. cheap. I've got a why friend it's that available. he waits for every freaking panic, and then he'll call me going, Hey, man, I just wanted to call real hey, quick and man. ask, what, what are some good ARs to get? Mag. And he has never bought one still. He's <laughs> still waiting for the next oh my one. Gosh. Every time. What should I is Hey, that, is there a good is that one? Bent? No. Oh, okay, someone else. And he insists on calling. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Buy it now. Buy, Buy one. It now. You have so many options. Should you buy the Black Rain Scout? That's a model of this one. They have several versions. Um, we'll answer that question. This is a lightweight review. We don't cover POU. You should know all that by now. We cover features. How does it shoot? And would we buy it? TD is here. He's in town for a little while. We love having him. He's pretty funny. You ought to hear the crap he says off camera that oh, I no. cannot put on camera. Hey, you should. No, I shouldn't. It's not, um, It'll it's create not so much drama. The and comment cleaning. Hatred in the, in the comments. Uh, most people do not have senses of humor. Yeah. Fact. Fact. Other versions of this are very cool, I think. American flag motifed Black Range Scout AR-15. So it has an American flag on the side of the receiver, really? receiver up and down and... And also on the handguard. If I can find a photo or video, I'll show it. Look at how. Would you buy that one, American that flag is. one? It's so rad looking. No, he I, hates I'm, it. I feel bad because it's like you can't say no. I don't want the stars and stripe on my gun. I just I'm. It's played. I'm tired. I'm sick of so many guns we get that coming through. They'll have an yeah. American flag like the CCY. Did that thing? It had that. Oh stupid, yeah. Support our troops. The FMK. Yeah. The FMK nine that I reviewed that had it engraved dumb. on the side like yeah. God, Liberty, or so. It, it's, yeah. It's so patronizing. Yeah. It it's is. just patronizing. It's the, hey, They're you like, like, oh, it? this is a God fearing crowd. Cool. Here's an American flag. That's just yeah. sell more guns. It's a cool looking paint job. I get what you're saying. I just don't know if I would rock it. Myself. I still love how that one looked. I yeah. saw it in person. And it is a very cool. It's matte finish Cerakote, Sweet. and they did a great job. The Cerakoting on this. And what I think is a forest green, not really an OD. Yeah. It's not OD. OD is drabber. Yeah. This is more of a forest green. I, th I really like it. Other versions of the Black Rain Air 15s is Battle Worn OD. That looks really cool. It's kind of a weathered OD. It's cool. Looking. And by the way, that's what manufacturers are having to do. They're having yeah. to put funky finishes on Make them to different. attract attention at the gun stores to sell. So this is all about making money. And I don't blame them a bit. I don't blame them at all. The Bro Comp. Bro is Black Rain Ord Ordnance, capital B-R-O. Comp 3G is a very cool looking gun. It comes in a funky stocked version. I would go traditional. Didn't test that one. We tested this one. Woodland Titanium, just to name a couple. That's cool. PLU we said would be standard. No questions on that. Cool. Uh, features. Well, let's get back to what happened just a second ago and we'll talk right now. First off, it's a 15 inch, what they call SLM M-Lock handguard. I actually like it, it's trim. Look how narrow that is in profile. M-Lock, uh, I prefer key mod. TD, you say you like M-Lock? I like M-Lock. I like key mod myself. Yes, we vary on things, that's just the way it is. Go to his channel, you'll see what he's talking about. He's proudly a civilian dumbass, he says. Boom. And he doesn't care. He doesn't care if you like his reviews, he doesn't yeah, care if he's care. perceived as tactical, he doesn't yep. give a 
care. Oh, just you telling you the you truth, dude. In your review. Doesn't care. Today's youth That's are the so beauty of TV. I can't believe it. Like, oh, so don't care. Don't care. Doesn't matter. Not enough people are gonna watch the video anyhow. <laughs> Who freaking I'm cares? Such a nobody. I can do whatever True. I want. The handguard is excellent. I love the contour of it. It's the thing great. that we don't like is that during shooting. It came loose. I mean, that's not late a in the shooting, <laughs> late in the shooting process. Is it a big deal to just take your Torx thing out and, and tighten it, it up? But no, it isn't at all. But here's the deal, dudes. This gun's expensive. It's upper crust. Okay. It's going to price yeah, competitively gonna against the Poff to... Renegade, which, by the way, we should have brought to table. I forgot it. It's good. I'll roll in footage of the Poff Renegade, and it is awesome. And I think it's uh, less expensive than this, or around the same price. And it's a piston-driven. Uh, probably in Gen 4, generationally improved, product improved gun, the Poff Renegade. So same price. So I don't remember its rail coming loose. I don't want to talk about it too much, but I always, I feel bad when stuff like this happens because I know out there people spend their money carefully. Mm -hmm. And I would feel like kind of a dumbass if I spent this much on this rifle and within one day of shooting, it's got this variable rail system. Trying well, to, you know, explain that to my kids going, look at how cool this is. It's all, we splurged, and next thing you know, it's loose. And the other two cents, I think the gun industry and hobby is way too okay with having to do maintenance on a new gun. I mean, they're always, well, you know, take it apart, lube it, you know, lock tight it. I don't That's think that nonsense. should be a prerequisite for a brand new gun. Absolutely especially not. Especially when it's this expensive. Exactly. So, whoever's working the shop that day, uh, yeah. if they're still with you, you might want to talk to them. Say, hey, you know, our reputation is getting killed by this here you have an upper crest ar which in most respects is pretty cool enough said okay the muzzle device on that is funky looking that's a bro's own, own model and they call it the slm flash suppressor they all and it depends on what you get configured if you go to their website they configure each gun a little bit differently you can get one that's very alien looking it's the black rain or ordnance milled not a very catchy name for that one they should have called it the werewolf yeah. That's a cool name, by the way, for a flash. I just made that up. Werewolf? The Werewolf. I was wondering if you could get this custom engraved. Is that too patronizing to call it the Werewolf? Is that kind of ridiculous? I don't know. I'd go Werewolf. I think it's cool. I don't mind the black rain on this at all. I think that's I cool. It. So I think it's their own. They're kind of their own CNC play, so they make all the components, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. By the way, the awesome watch for this review, pre... Oh, no, I haven't reviewed this one. The PRW... Really high-end JDM uh, ProTrek PRG, sorry, PRG 600. Oh, that's a freaking awesome watch. Yep. Hey, I don't care about watches. We do. And it's our show. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are you wearing, dude? The Casio Edifice. Ooh. Both links in the bottom. You love it, do you not? Yeah, good luck finding it, man. Why? Well, because Suspect stole mine. I had one. Uh, in his brother's plated. also a huge watch aficionado. Yeah. I used to we let him are. borrow it, and I let him borrow it, and it disappeared within eight hours. So you, he lost it. Yeah, it's gone forever. Yep, that's sad. It's too bad. That makes awesome. me sad. But it's cool. It's another example of if you like it while it's around, get it because it won't be made forever. Correct. Features review. Thought we forgot. I thought that actually worked pretty good yeah. in shooting it. It was decent. You'll see the footage. The barrel is a 16 inch, 5.56 chambered, 416R stainless steel in this version. Nitride coated, I suspect. This portion right here is fluted. This portion back here is skinny, which I don't like. However, it is relatively light. And I forgot to write the weight down. So with scope, with a lightweight Lancer magazine, let's see what it weighs. Give it a second. Hold on, let me guess. Um, I'm saying without scope, that's a, what is that, Pro Staff 7, Arrow Precision. I'm going to say 8, 1. 9, 3. Ooh, I win, 7, 14. So that's a lightweight that's gun. Bad. That's really Especially good. Especially for the amount of rail you have on there. It's a long rail. Again, it's 15-inch rail in this particular version. But again, it's a thin barrel through here. That saves yeah. weight. They always do that to save weight. Yep. Because it's not visible to a lot of people. A lot of guys say, hey, it doesn't matter. And... To a point, they're correct. It doesn't. But I, you know, if I can just add a little bit more accuracy and more importantly, the heat reduction of heat stringing. So there you go. That's the handguard. Uh, billet upper and lower in this version. That American flag version that BRO does is actually forged. And I prefer the forged upper, oh, forged cool. lower. Uh, this one is billet. And 
we'll hold it close so you can see the milling. Here's the serial number on this one. It is 033077 at Gunny's Great American Gun Store. Thanks to Gunny's for the loaner. Black Rain Ordnance. A little bit of milling on the top. Anti-walk pins there. Standard safety. No issues. Oversized charging handle. Love that. Love that. Everything love it, love it. it, love it. Let it rain. Are you okay with that? Let it rain logo? I don't like it, but it's better than some of the other ones. What if it seen. said God bless America? I would just, something about that. <laughs> I just don't, so, I don't like the manufacturer so assuming I want a bumper sticker on something. Yeah, like you wouldn't agreed. buy a new Corvette agreed. and on the back it has support the troops. Yeah, You'd be I like, agree. I mean, hey dude, love the troops and stuff. Agree. Real cool bunch of dudes. Probably don't want that bumper sticker pre-installed. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, this, the gate around the magazine release button and CNC is so precise, better than forging, cool. I would say. Dust cover, talked about the pins already. Nothing to talk about on the Magwell. MOE grip in this version, and that's kind of my favorite. I love MOE. Yeah, like it. Love <sighs> MOE. It's just super excellent. And it's an easy fit. Yep. Staked castle nut, kind of. I don't really see it being staked so heavily, and I don't care because I'd put a sling plate on this. Yep. Mill spec buffer tube and MFT stock, awesome stock, which is our still our go-to stock. We have it on all of our guns. Until well, not we all, most of them. One. Yeah, this one's pretty good. You can break an MFT. Like you, you start smashing yeah. faces or knocking doors down, yeah. you can have some problems. Mortaring it. I'm kidding all that stuff. Yeah, mortaring would be more yeah. realistic. So if you mortared it and landed it asymmetrically like this, snap, you'd have to land it flat like that. You busted a... A standard one. Dude. Rock River. The Rock River busted position. right off mortar in it when a round got stuck in there. Aero Precision mount, by the way, link in the bottom. It's Those our go-to awesome. mount. It's so excellent. Dude, Cheap. Super light, super you go to, for these Trick Tactical ones, they're charging you $225 for a mount. Yep. This one's 89 bucks. last time I checked. It's Amazon. Rad. Great scope, too. Love it. Features review. Hope you liked it. How did it shoot? Well, let's talk about the dynamics of shooting. The trigger, I forgot to mention, by the way, is superb. Really, really awesome trigger. It is their own trigger, I believe. I wrote it down here somewhere, I forget. But it pulls at like three and a half pounds, super clean on the Black Rain AR-15s. I would do nothing to their trigger. It is perfect. Really a great trigger, it's fast. It really shoots like a competition 3G gun. It's really fast, on target. We talked about the comp, slow recoil, excellent. Uh, let me break it in, by the way, and I didn't. Sh I want to show the bolt carrier group super fast. Here we go. So there's your bolt carrier group. You can look at the staking, the bolt itself, the ejector bolt. Nickel boron is so awesome because it's so easy to clean. Quick look at your charging handle. There's your quick look. Hope you liked it. And this is what I'm talking about. So it has an adjustment in the lower receiver for tightening any play. Oh, that's cool. It's cool. The Renegade had that too. A lot of them do. Did the Saint have that? Mm, yeah, one of them did. It's either the Saint or the MSR-15, I forget. So even value-priced ones are coming out with yeah. it. So how excellent is that? Good look at the trigger. Also, awesome trigger. M4 feed ramps. That's pretty standard. There you go. So now we talk about how it shot. We talked about the dynamics, how fast it was. It was fast. How about accuracy? What do you think I'm going to say, Doodle? Fair? That's exactly what I'm going to say. Well said. Fair is correct, and that is very disappointing for an, a gun of this expense, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It should be much, much better. Here we go with target number one. What? Oof. What? Yowza. These are all good trigger pulls, by the way. If they're not, I'll annotate it. And I've said it before, I'll say it again for in case you're new. I'm a half MOA shooter, maybe a third MOA shooter on a really good day. And on a really bad day, if uh, like my breathing or my trigger control is errant, one MOA. So it's not me and it wasn't our crew members. PMC shot there, boom. Hand lows shot a pretty good group. Disregard that one, that's a side in. American Eagle shooting about two and a half, three inches. PMC about the same. What? M193 shooting into like four inches. Jeez. Now that's a really telling thing right there. Now M193 is super hot. It's not consistent. It kind of slings. I'm not expecting a great group. Any guy will tell you that shot a lot at 193. It's hot. We're sacrificing accuracy and consistency for speed and penetration. But out of this barrel, come on. PMC, eh. M193, eh. But wait, there's more. And then I wrote a couple notes. Told you I wrote notes. Everything is tight. 
different loads have a huge difference in zero awful accuracy 77 grain match that's awful look at this group don't even know what it was federal 55 federal fmj's 75 grain hornady match Ooh. you know what i bet you i did a question mark i bet you this is one group right here one two three i bet you that's a group out of that expensive they are 15 let's keep it real shall we do you like keeping it real? Maybe it was part of that game-changing, innovative, uh, rotational forehand. <laughs> well, it was tight during accuracy because I checked it. Later yeah. on during steel, I don't think it was. So let's look at a Colt 6920 coming up for review. American Eagle shooting, uh, shooting in here. I almost said shitting in here. Shooting in here. And this is not a match gun. This is a yep. show them. It's this gun right here. It's just a naked that we configured Colt with a standard 16 inch barrel, M4 profile, I believe it is M4, isn't it? PMC shooting into basically an inch and a half, maybe less, American Eagle, PMC, PMC, 77 grain match. That's what I'm talking about, and that's out of a rack grade, they can't see it, sorry, I'm zoomed. There we go. That's out of a rack grade AR-15, yo. Awesome. <laughs> so, here's Rock River in the day, shooting 193. That's a Rock River, shooting M193. That was in, I don't know if I wrote a date on that. Did I? Nope, didn't. So I'm gonna call accuracy very disappointing. Could I find a load where it will like and shoot better? Probably, yeah. That's more outings, more time, more money, and with viewership being what it is on the GRVs here, we ain't doing it. Should you have to do that at this price point? Uh, no. No. No, go ahead and throw that Colt down, dude. No, not doing it. So we get to the ever important, would we buy it? Dude, it'll go. How many of these could you get for the price of one of these? That's not a cheap gun, but I mean, the the naked, I think, I, I forget the price, I but it it's like about half. Six or It's half. You could do there. two for one, yeah. but you supply the furniture. Yeah. Maybe 2.3. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but you could get a value price AR like a Savage. Yeah. A Ruger American. The Ruger, I said American, but the Ruger AR556. That thing shot that accurately. Awesome. That's like half MOA. Yeah. So go figure. I mean, here again, we see a, an expensive AR not living up. Reliability wise, it was perfect. So we should have said that. It's no jams, ran a little bit of steel through it. It was fine. Just like a good DI, properly regulated DI gun should be. Would I buy it? The answer is nope. Because there's so many options for nope. ARs. Nope. It's not 1992, like it. and there's right. so many manufacturers. You can find one that's gotten this same recipe down that gives you everything for that amount of money, if not less. It'll yeah, it could be less. Hey, I I think they're made, they're putting together a really great looking yeah. AR. They really are. Accuracy wise, I can't really give them a pass. I go to the barrel. It makes me wonder what's going on with the barrel. Who made the barrel? Was it cut properly? Mm -hmm. Uh, this gun, with a price, I'd probably ship it back. I'd say, hey, dudes, please look at the barrel for me. This does not shoot in the way it should. And then I'd include a uh, target from your Rock River Arms. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Showing it shooting half him away with ball, which they do. They do. They do. Uh, so many options, yeah. we're not going to burn airtime right. telling you what they are. Do you yeah. think we should? No. Oh, uh, they know much. what they are. Every, they're a thousand. We mentioned a couple already. Soon. Yeah. I will say this. Between this... And the Poff Renegade? Renegade. Renegade all day long. It's a piston gun. We mentioned it already. It's it has awesome. that cool channel yeah. wear resistant uh, option in its, not option, but feature in its bolt. Great trigger. It looks cool. Shot. Awesome. 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 I'd go Renegade all day long. Man. Yeah. And they continually upgrade that gun. Yeah. Every time I turn around, there's a new Renegade. There's a new Poff. Hey, we just changed it. We're done. See it. I can't see the dust. Okay. Hit. See that rock face up there? There's rocks going yeah. like that. Yeah. Hit that. the base of those. You should be able to see them hit. There you go. See it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's go up there. Let's go up a little bit from that. Okay. Sick. That's pretty good thwack in the rocks, isn't it? I mean, you can really hear it. Yeah. Okay, see that? Now, if you come over here, the rock face, the big rocks yeah. right there, yeah. schwack those. Yeah, okay, you got it. That's a little high.
You see it? <laughs> oh, oh, dude, right there. Where? That fly on top of that tree. <laughs> okay. See it? Bring it. <laughs> Hit. Totally, you got it. Of course. Get back up to the back to the steel. Barricade. Ah. Oh. All that running for two rounds. You're out, out? Pretty much. Two rounds. I got another mag for you. Okay. That steel? Steel. Uh, try it. Then try it. All right. Let's try it. Should run steel. Should run it. Kind of sucks about the handguard. <laughs> well, look at the stuff we just see out here. Isn't it just crazy? Nuts. I mean, who would ever think that would happen on a high end DI gun? I mean, this thing is expensive, it's like 1600 bucks. It's a lot, dude. It's a lot. Well, other than that, okay, mostly.